Did you publish? There we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good Welcome rainy to the morning, show. morning from Northern Illinois. Tons of rain. Yeah. Buckets of rain. It's been raining for a couple days. Full day yesterday, all night last night, so far today. And we're not talking just like a nice little light bulb sprinkle or March some, sprinkle. Some it's pretty big yeah. downpours. I, we're a little late because I was just on the roof cleaning the gutter. So I'm pretty wet. But we're able to get the show going. Now we got wet feet. What? See? My shirt's not dirty. It's just water. Yeah, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Full well, rain. Right. You know, back in the day when, when I was, you know, eight years old, it's fun to play in the rain. It's not anymore. Not when it's cold. No. It's 50 and rainy. It's cold. Yes, it is. So we do have a show for you, despite being rained on. And I was here, like, yep. way early. Of course, if you're early, and then we have a disaster strike. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, it does. Uh, I, I brought my new partner with me today. I have not named him yet. Does anybody have a name for him? And he's available for sale, if anybody's interested in a... Mannequin head? Or what kind? I think it's like... It's not really a little a thicker than paper mache, but I don't know what the heck this is made of. So, yeah. He's got a little, little doo-doo there in his eye. Not doo-doo, a little boo-boo. Hope he doesn't have doo-doo in his eye. See, he's got a little bloody eye. Give me, give him a name. Let's name the man today. There you go. I like that. All right. Uh, of course, we got birthdays. We got trade-ins. We're talking the RSD charts. We're talking trade-ins. All sorts of fun stuff going on. Right Ten there. inches of snow and rain today. Ooh, I'm glad we didn't get ten inches of snow. Can you imagine <sighs> That's a lot. this on top of snow? Jeez. That would not have been good. Nope. Mm-mm. So what do you got for us, Annette? We got for birthdays. Oh. We got oh, we got day of the, day of the week. I, I lost my uh, I lost my cheat sheet. <laughs> oh crap! I don't know where I put it. I was digging around through so much today. You see a little yellow piece of paper flying around here anywhere? Sorry, guys. Guess I'll be winging this today. Who knows? Probably stuck it in a pocket or something when I went downstairs to try to yeah. move some stuff around. All right. Well, let me get over here then, and we'll go through this. All right. See if I can find the list here. I'm starting Keep here. sight. Huh? Good day, mates. First off on the list, happy birthday, Diana Ross, 80 years old. The severed head could be for some some certain movie. It could be. Yeah. When we get into the movie making oh. business, maybe we'll use it then. How old is Diana Ross? 80. <whistles> and next That's up on one. the list... Holy cow, Steven Tyler, 76 years old. Damn. That's old. How about that? So I just That's old for a guy who's trying to still tour. I know, it is. One of my favorite stories to tell is one of the last times I ever played, saw my dad get to play guitar and sing before he, he died in 2011. It was a couple weeks before they went on the cruise on which he died, and he was trying to learn how to play Dude Looks Like a Lady. And he was singing it that well he was 68 years old at that point so <laughs> yeah so that's a, a good memory for me you know now that it's farther down the road yeah teddy pendergrass died in 2010. okay so it would have been his birthday today and chris when you get work uh if, when you get work watching this video this is for dab Another Bay City Roller birthday. Can you, didn't we just have one last year? Yeah, time? we did. I think we did. So Billy Lyle, the keyboard player. He was with Bay City Rollers, Alan Parsons Project. I got that one. And I got to scroll down because I can't find my notes. And I'm going to butcher. You don't know how to say this guy's last name from Smashing Pumpkins? James Iha. Iha. It's spelled I-H-A. I don't know how to say his last name. Guitar and songwriter, um, guitar player, songwriter from uh, Smashing Pumpkins and A Perfect Circle. Huh. And he was born in 1968. No, yes, 60, 68. And he and uh, Kenny Chesney were born on the same day, same year. Same day, same years? So yeah, same exact age. So we had wow. To, I'm pretty sure I couldn't find any Kenny Chesney vinyl right off the top no, of my head, but I could find ever. this CD. Could be yours for four dollars. Nice. Might as well just get to my other spot here, huh? Yeah. Got a lot yeah. of interesting stuff for today's holidays. 
which this one goes out to my husband, American Diabetes Alert Day. Since we just it's important found out, to know. Found out last year. Good hair day? Not today. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> rain. I got rained out today. Holy Tuesday. To so make up your own holiday day today. Maybe we could incorporate... Severed head. Head it's, case into that. He's got he needs a number name. 65 on the back He there. does have 65 on the back. Or it could be somebody's initial GS. I don't know. It looks could like be. a 65 to me. Though. Yeah, it looks like a 65 to me, too. Huh. I don't know. Look how bad nose there. Okay, so anyways, make up your own holiday day. That could get pretty interesting. What holiday do you want to make today? Uh, it's okay. National Clean Your Gutters Out Day, so you don't have to do it. There you go. Or That's training. a good one. It was nice that Jim was able to grab his ladder and get <laughs> up there, too. Um, National Wayne Day. Happy birthday, any Wayne's... Uh, or, Happy Wayne Day. That doesn't have to be a birthday. Wear a hat day, man. I didn't even know it was wear a hat day today. Perfect. Nailed it. I did nail it. So, yeah. There's a lot of good stuff today. A lot. Oh, Nancy Pelosi's birthday. Got to throw her in there, oh, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. So, that's for the uh, birthdays and the... What day is it? All right. Um, Nancy Pelosi's Peep birthday. Sight. Jesus Christ. Peep site. Peep site. All right. Okay. Uh, the best name I've heard so far because it's the only one so far. Peep site. I just like severed head. P.S. for Saul, for short. My husband, Paul Sled. P.S. P.S. Well, we got some tasty trade ins this week. We got tasty trade ins? Yeah, best of the specials. Oh. I think this is a, is this a 1 LP or 2 LP? It looks like. It is a, I think it's a, this is a 2LP. Oh, 2LP. 2LP, best of special. It's only 25 bucks. Um, so if you're into a little bit of early sky, this guy's kind of pioneered the sound right here. 25 yeah. bucks. It's not going to break the bank. No. Oh, we also have some shirts we're going to show off. We don't I, do a lot of vintage see, shirts, but we got some vintage stuff shirts. That I, uh, stuff always comes in on Sundays yeah. and Mondays. Right. Okay. Sure does. Comes in every day of the week. Well, it does. Seems like it piles up. How about some Junior Wells Buddy Guy? Pre-owned, $37, 2 LP. I think this is our only one. I want to listen to that today. Live at Cotati Cabaret, 1984. Wow. Got my mojo working, messing with the kid. Five long years. Just a little bit hush-hush, sweet home, Chicago. A lot I don't of, know why that's on there. A lot of classics. <laughs> You want a few of these? Yeah. I got uh, Jim James. His solo record. You know, he's from My Morning Jacket. Um, doesn't say anything on the cover. But for 25 bucks, you get the Jim James solo album. It says Jim on the back. Jim James, Eternally Even. That's Jim on the back. It's a gatefold for 25 Rage Against the Machine, live in Irvine. I'm assuming California. Yeah, yeah, 1995. So. 12 bucks. Damn, that's cheap. That's cheap. Holy cow. I don't have any room over here to put on. Let's do that. Sturgill Simpson, High Talk Mountain, 12 bucks. Another wow. smoking deal. It, they are good deals. Holy cow. Radiohead Amnesiac, $34. 2 LP. Uh, I don't know if I can get these right now. I had a to, to used Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Tommy, come in. No. Oh, you did. <laughs> Southern Accents. This is an original. It's not a reissue. Uh, for 20 bucks. But we don't get a lot of used uh, Tom Petty in, so I'm excited no, about we keep don't. that in. Anything in the notes that you missed? I'm looking. Nope. Got it covered. I'll let you take that one. That one's fun. Runaway Train featuring Gladys Knight in its Culture Club. Which I believe this is a record store day item, I believe. Could be. $16. If you got anybody that's a big Culture Club fan, look at that. you got to have that. Let's check that out see if it is a release. How about the uh, MoFi getting their own pressing plant? Pretty awesome, huh? Pretty we know awesome. somebody that lives out in that area. Yeah, we got a, a viewer from out that way. Um, but... Now, they've been working on that pressing plant for well over a year now. Oh, a couple it's been years more than probably. that since 2022. So yeah, it's been yeah. Two, two to three years they've been working on putting that thing up. They're finally getting records rolling off the line. Um, it looks like there's six presses from what we can well, tell. Well, if you go on their website, um, what is it? Fidel 
Fidelity Record Pressing. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot on there yet. There's a write up of the um, owner and co owner. And on the main screen, the home screen, there's kind of cool little um, video on it. But it, I would, it would be really cool for them to do a more in depth video. Yeah. I mean, you can find a lot of that stuff on YouTube, but to see actually something like that where that would be really... Maybe, maybe I'll send an email today. They're still getting up and running. <laughs> they you know, are. They're still working the bugs out. So, um, But yeah, there at least some products are coming off the line, which is exciting. Now, I don't remember this, but it says if, if this is the right... There's no bark. Two, two, four, I don't know if this is... At least this. in 2019. 2019. I don't remember this one. I do. We had them originally. So I was here in 2019. No, yeah. Was it, yeah, it's record store day. Yeah. Yep. I yeah. I don't think they made very many of them. I think we only had and a I'm couple. Not seen that. So, RSD limited run regional. So a thousand copies. Yeah, they only made a thousand of them. That's why we didn't. Sixteen get bucks, if anybody. So. Is interested. It's kind of a rare piece. Yeah. I did also get a nice Slayer collection trade today. That's all Slayer, that it's all whole pile? all Slayer. This is all Slayer. Wow. Of course, this is what Rain and... This is... Uh, this isn't Rain and Blood. This is Seasons in the Abyss. And these are really affordable, guys. 25 bucks on that. I've got... Uh, this is Diabolical... Diabolus and Musica. $23. Here's a second... South, oh, this is the South of Heaven for $27. Divine Intervention for $27. Slayer, this is Painted Blood, World Painted Blood for $23. There's Rain and Blood for $27. Oh, we got one in $30. Hell Awaits Velvet Red Marble for $30. And God Hates Us All for $25. So all in the 20s. It's a pretty good deal. For the one that's $30. Considering wow. that I think all these are out of print. I don't think you can get all of them. I think some of them you can get. I know the one Slayer Rain and Blood was just redone, RSD Essential from the splatter. But I don't think the rest of them are available right now. We got a few more good trade-ins. I see I made a typo in my original tech note that I put up there. Sorry about that. It should be D-U-E, do to rain it, D-O. I'm kind of fanatic about stuff like that. Yeah, we were in a hurry. A Tribe Called Quest, People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythm. Two, er, two LPs. 90s, early hip-hop, uh, a lot of like uh, sample stuff. $22. Hey, let me show something as long as we're on a hip-hop yeah. yeah. um, spot here. Oh, take it away, take it away, take it away now. Got a bunch of cool DVDs in, I think it was last week. So... I was going to show them a little bit later, but might as well just follow this up, right? American Rap Stars. This is a hot new film with the hottest names in hip-hop. Uh, Jamie Foxx, Jay-Z, Run DMC, Snoop Dogg, Ludacris. Fortunately, we don't see what's his face's name on here. That's in a little bit of trouble with the law. So five bucks on this one. Whoops. We do have there. Right, no. Oh, well. FSTV. Yeah, I could not find anything about this video. That's why I put I put so, five dollars on it. Sean Puffy Combs who's in some hot water today, uh, but there's also Nas and Jeezy and new, stuff. Put it in a new case. Um, a little flimsy. That one's a little yeah. Um, Street Life, forget your reality TV. This is real. Um, five dollars again. It's got Lazy Bone, da Daz Dillinger, Pimpin' Ken, Method Man, Prodigy, and many more. Five bucks. I guess I put five on all of these. So in a special edition two disc set, Outlaws, worldwide, unrated, uncensored, for five dollars. I thought this stuff would be pretty interesting because I'm guessing this stuff isn't on YouTube. Oh, I'm sure. So all this stuff's going to be I think it's like missing. ancient history and stuff that doesn't get shown. I think it's missing. Yeah. It's this one is supposed to have, I think... It's supposed to have a bonus CD, so this one is missing the CD. So but it's got the DVD. That's take great. a couple, you know, a buck or two off of that. And then the untold story of Southern hip hop, Dirty States of America. Another five dollars. So if anybody's interested in any hip hop DVDs, I got a whole 
handful of them. Very good. Yeah. Back to the LPs. Godspeed you, Black Emperor. Two LP set, $25. I've also got a John Coltrane. Here, I'll give you these. I'll give you this. Open that up. It's on blue vinyl. Oh, okay. Boris oh, with Merzbo, Clatter. Oh, you've got it taped. It's I on can't get neon it open. pink. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Neon pink vinyl, only $20 on the Boris and Merzbo. This uh, Love Supreme John Coltrane on blue vinyl. we got it. The taped up here, so I'm not gonna pull it. Oh yeah, it's a like a bright blue vinyl. Twenty bucks. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, real cheap. Sparks, kimono, my house, thirty dollars. Don't usually get sparks. All in. of a sudden, I've been seeing a lot of sparks. Didn't they just do a bunch of reissues on sparks? Yeah, right and they did a documentary not too long ago. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. And check this out: Kate Bush running up that hill, which is the biggest song on the planet a couple summers ago. The single. For 20 bucks. So if you just like that song, you don't want to buy any other Kate Bush. I don't want to buy any Kate Bush. I like this song, Running Up the Hill, you know, the Stranger Things song. 20 bucks. You can buy it right there. It's, it, was probably, it was probably I'll leave it for another so, fan. There you go. Here you go. Oh, uh, we got a couple other kind of cool trade ins. I found these Vinyl Me Please in the new arrivals bin. Uh, oh. Patty La. Is this Patty LaBelle? LaBelle. Okay. Nightbirds. $30. Vinyl me, please. So, obviously, these are out of print. You can't find them. They're only $30. Um, I believe that's new sealed. And we got a new sealed Sylvester. Ooh. Sylvester 2. $30. Vinyl me, please. With the OB strip sealed. Ready to go if you're, like, into some cool um, solo records. Dibs on the Kate Bush. For Ray, if you want to pull that. Very good. You got it, Ray. Yeah, you know what? That new... If anybody's picked up that Ruth Brown Mofi that just came out like last week, yeah, what did I put? It? Um, they put the the peel strip on the bottom. I know that was silly. You know, if people are lifting them in and out of the rack, they'll get more damage that way than if it's on the top. But then on top, people flip it and they. Either way, it's not a good. Thing. I hate the zip strips. As a yeah. store owner, I hate them. Here, if you want to find it, Kate, I'll put this in there. Yeah. All right, Lay, Ray, Lay, Ray, Cat. Can you tell I didn't get much sleep last night? I just couldn't sleep. Okay, let's, where do we want to put Ray? Cat? All right, next up's RSD chart. And I was really, really shocked to see that the Black Crows were not at the top of it. Huh. We still have indie exclusive Black Crows. If you don't have one, I have two left of this one. I got one other one in my rack, and that is it for the clear vinyl Black Crows. If you want one, put dibs on it. Because I'm guessing a week from now, I don't want This is the only one we got left? This one and one of more. Indy. Um, we also, I got on black too. We also have, the, I think we still have an indie exclusive CD yep. and the regular CD on for the Black Crows. Which I think they're in inventory. I'd have to check though. And the CDs showed up late. They yes. Didn't, they didn't, the indie exclusive CDs didn't ship with the LPs. No. So. Um, Just, I think when the, we did get the LPs, I think we got one one copy of a CD, and that was the right, yeah. the standard CD, not the indie exclusive. Twenty six bucks on either of the Black Crows. Um, if you're in the black or clear, but yeah, num unbelievable that that was not number one. Number one this week was the new Casey Musgraves Deeper Well, which I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I sold a ton of Black Crows. I only sold a few Casey Musgraves, but of course, this is a picture of all the independent record stores. Is this? And I probably have asked this question before. Is this strictly United States that's yeah. making this list? Uh, I don't know. Or is it international? That'd be a good question. Or I would we'll have to find I'm out. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some digging. I would assume it's the U.S. I, yeah. Um, but yeah, Musgraves took the number one spot. Black Crows, number two. Ariana Grande, number three. Taylor Swift, number four. Judas Priest, hanging strong at number five. Isn't it amazing how many titles on this list are female-driven titles? Yes. I mean, and I wish I would have paid attention to the news this morning because as I was getting ready and stuff, I always have CBS on in the background, and they're talking about female music artists, and that's all I heard of the whole thing. I wish I would have paid attention yeah. now that you brought that up. It's huge right now. I mean, look at so you got Black Crows, which is you know kind of your stereotypical record audience. 
that it's number one, number three, number four is Taylor Swift, number six is Muna, number eight is Taylor, number nine is Noah Khan, number ten is SZA. Yeah. I mean, that's like seven of the ten top charting records are female driven or female artists. It's unbelievable. It's because it isn't March like National Women's Month or it something. It is. <laughs> But so, it's, which, it's amazing how strong that demographic yeah. is right now. But yeah, Judas Priest hanging on. Uh, great record. If you're into classic Priest, you're going to like this record. Which, okay, which Cars Mo Mofi are you referring to? Because I think a couple of them have sold, so I don't remember which one we showed. Or, cause it's I probably the self-titled. Self-titled. If, like if it's a self-titled, I think I still have one. Okay. We'll dig after the show, and if we do have one, we'll set it aside and put your name on it. <clears throat> um, and then we'll show up some other stuff here. Well, let me show here. Just oh, take, yeah. a, take a break, Nick. You can okay. talk okay. a lot. Just pulled out some more DVDs, just because we were kind of lame on the show today, I guess. Um, four bucks, Coleman Hawkins in Europe, for any of you jazz people. Got a sealed copy of Purple Rain for $7. A lot of, some of these are probably not in our inventory because we have been having upload problems. So if you do see any DVDs that you're interested in, just call the store and let me know. Elvis found a live, I knew they would find him eventually. I knew it. I'm glad they found him. Six bucks. I've never seen this movie. I'm not sure I'm going to watch it. <laughs> um, some pretty cool uh, punk type DVDs for the punk people. Circled. Jerks, my career as a jerk, $15. I might have shown this one. I can't remember. And this is sealed. Um, Buzzcocks, Hamburg, 1981. So $10. I've got two Dresden Dolls uh, DVDs here. Um, one at six and another at six. And then we have... Um, the Germs, Media Blitz, The Germs Story, for $10. So it had a little hip-hop section, a punk section, and then a couple miscellaneous there. Back to the charts. Uh, as we go down the chart, Nora Jones debuts at 24. Actually, no, she, last, she was up higher last week. Yeah. We, uh, she's at 24. Bleachers still very much on the chart at uh, their new Bleachers record. We are number, where the heck is the Bleachers album here? This is the second week in the chart for the Bleachers. Oh, 27. Um, a big dud on the chart is the Justin Timberlake record. It's not doing so hot. Um, where is it? On the, it is on the chart, but it is not doing super great. Um, it's 16, which is pretty good, considering it was not a good start for it. I'm excited to see where the new Gary Clark Jr. lands. So, you know, this next upcoming week, we got Allison Chains, mm -hmm. Jar of Flies. We got Gary Clark Jr. Those are all going to be hitting the chart on Friday. So uh, next week, we'll see where these guys land. But if you're looking for the new Gary Clark Jr., we have the Indie Exclusive. We also have posters. But I think we have a few posters left. Um, $46 on that. Then I got a couple more trade-ins. So yeah, the chart, again, a lot of the same as always, but um, fun to see where the new stuff lands. So. Can't find a true answer yet at this point about whether that's just U.S. or international for that chart. So. Alabama Shakes, Boys and Girls. It's a classic rock title, 20 bucks. And then since I was doing Vinyl Me Please, I found, these oh. on the, I found this on the wall. Cool. Dino Washington, this one is open, but it's 40 bucks. Uh, it's got the Vinyl We Please strip on it. Triple A lacquers cut from original master tapes. 180 gram RTI press. So this is before they had their own pressing plant. Way out of print. And a cool Doors bootleg. Mo, Mr. Mojo Rise and 2LP. We got $50 on that. I don't think I've ever seen that. Did I see it? I wonder if it has a date on it. This was 1970. 2LPs in there? Yeah, 2LPs. That's what we got for a show today. Well, here, I'll just, see anything, and that's I just pulled stuff. a couple out of the, stuff. if anybody showed up late, we're looking for a name for, what was the other one? Peep? Peep. We're going to have to go, P 
peep sight. Peep sight. Yeah. If anybody wants to help, you know, put a name in. Maybe name for we'll a have, severed head. Maybe we'll have a drawing. <laughs> Not to give them away, just to pick the name. But he is for sale if anybody wants them. All right, let's just. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. Pulled a bunch here. of stuff out just because we hardly ever show this stuff. So I've got a, a Don Shirley Trio Water Boy album. So I feel like today, Water Boy. Yeah. $6. <laughs> Billy Holiday, Lonely Blue Child. And this is $10. Something Wonderful by Nancy Wilson. Oh, you got a comment there. It's about 20 ish dollars. I can't quite read it, but somewhere in the 20 range. Ray says I should run through the back wall every week. We can do that. And the one behind the counter would be a good idea, yeah, too. We'll do this one. I don't know if the Wi Fi will go to the main counter, but oh, we can do this back that's wall. That's true. Spiral Gyro for 10 bucks. As you can tell, I was kind of over in the black in the jazz section. Blackbird by Donald Donald Bird is twenty four dollars on that one. Oops. Return to Forever featuring Chick Corea, No Mystery, eight dollars. I don't know who this is, but I just kind of like the name of the band. Chunky Nori and Ernie. Promo. And, and it's a promo. <laughs> I have no idea. There's the front. There's the back. Eight dollars. Very good. And then last but not least, I probably I think I sh might have shown this. Actually, I've got two more things. The Continent Lashes Back European Garage Rock Part 2. Oh, that's cool. Um... About twenty dollars. It's got Q sixty five, Danny and the Royal Strings, the Motions, the DJs, the Phantoms, the Pussycats, the Slaves, the Kentuckys, and more. And then just this one is also a promo. This is the clean version though. Two LP Buster Rhymes. Two LP Buster Rhymes. And disaster strikes for eighteen dollars. Full length record. There you go. All right, I'll show the back wall, and then I'm going to let you guys go. One-Eyed sure. Pete. One-Eyed Pete. That's oh, I like One-Eyed Pete. I kind of like that one, too. Oh, that was the brand. My water and crap. One-Eyed right. Pete. Okay. Let's show off the back wall here, guys. Remember, go a little slow. All right, I'm going to get in the front of the wall here. It looks like it was cut holes, but I think that's from where you pulled stuff down. Yeah, I think the holes are from where I pulled stuff down. Oh, bows there. Yeah, I got some nice Bose 901 set up. Looking for a new home. I got someone coming to look at them today. So I'll see if they get a new home. So there's some new stuff. There's some old stuff on here. Um, back up a little bit. Nico got that Chuck Berry box. There's a there's another Vinyl We Please, Ramblin', Jack Elliott, Casualties. There's the three LP schools out. Uh, Alice Cooper. I'm surprised no one's picked that up. Fleetwood Mac live box. Uh, Dashboard Confessionals, Sting, a $12 10-inch by the, uh, oh, who is that? That's the, uh, I can't remember, the Animals. Uh, Buckingham Knicks, very rare record to find. That is a Sterling Press for $70. Bucks. Uh, what do we got down here? We got the Great Rock and Roll Swindle by the Sex Pistols. You got Power, Autograph, Gary Newman, Bootleg. Jimmy World, there's the Mark Knopfler box set discounted down because it's got a little corner ding. Jimmy World, Arthur Brown box, which is out of print. Uh, Pepper, there's early Cat Stevens, Bob Dylan, Jack Rose, more Dylan box, Bootleg 17, Clutch, Clutch picture disc, Jimmy World. There's a Nico picture disc, Master Reality, and Candle Mask box. And a bow diddly box. So, yeah, there's a lot to see in the shop. Let me see. I'm going to see if the Wi Fi is going to reach, guys. I'm not 100% sure. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what we got on this wall.
That English black flag, that's an original black flag. Check out this psych record. Nirvana, that is a rare record right there. More Kate Bush. That is a half speed master of men at work for 30 bucks. Rush 2112, white label promo. We got an Australian ACDC. A Fear of the Dawn in the original bag. Freddy vs. Jason record up there. And a white label promo cheap trick. So yeah, there's some tasty treats on that wall. So, Oh, we got some shirts. We forgot we are going to do the shirts. Let's see what Annette's got for shirts. Look at this one. Didn't we just talk about them? Oh yeah, Buzzcocks. That's cool. So these are even... Priced yet. Yeah, we're going to price My these... Camera. Hopefully I'll come back. Yours is working okay. It's okay. delayed. So these aren't even priced yet. I haven't looked at condition or anything. I'm sure they're all in pretty good, pretty good shape. Um look at this Buzzcocks. This is a size large. Or, I'm sorry, extra large. I, yeah. On that one. Then look at this sweet metallic shirt. I the tag is missing on this. But it looks like I was gonna hold it up that bus. I'd say it's probably at least. I think it's an XL. XL. Yeah. It's kind of um, wide though. It might be a two. No, it's definitely not a two. Probably an X. We'd have to compare it with. That's pretty one. cool. And again, we we don't have the we just they're coming in. We have not priced them or anything, but you can put dibs and we'll get prices on them. That's an eight, 1985 original Batman shirt. Is that cool? That's cool. And that one is showing large. So that, that, That's a cool shirt. That Metallica might be a large. Oh, you missed one here. Uh, oh, I missed a missed bunch. These. Got a F -F -F. Fantastic Four. And here's a Watchmen shirt. Who watches the Watchmen? I'm trying to see. This one is a size large. The Watchmen, did you see what size that is? The size large. Rock, Roxy, Roxy Music. music. Um, well, probably a large. Speaking of smashing pumpkins. Oh, yeah, there's a birthday boy. There you go. Zeitgeist. Mm-hmm. A lot of these are missing size tags, but we could do a comparison with... with Nine Inch um, Nails, that's cool. With, with some of our shirts in the store. and That's cool. That one is a size, a size that's faded off the tag. Sacred Reich. Oh, there you go. Oh. Rock for pot. <laughs> that's fun. Rock for pot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shirts in there. The font of the day I can't read. Morbid Angel. Oh. This Leading looks like probably, honestly, maybe a medium or... You know, I think it's a large one. I think it's shrunk. It is a large. And it is... Okay. American Sickness. And two more. Dead Milkman. The Dead Milkman. That's a cool shirt. Also coming in as a large. Is that a Blind Melon it shirt? It is. Wow. It is. Look at that. Blind freaking melon. Wow. Well, there you go. That's what we're going to be doing today, guys. And that is a large. Yep. So most of these are the large and X large size. You can probably go ahead and get those priced within the next day or two. But if anybody's interested in any today, give us a call and we can price out. Yep. And uh, let you know about that. All right, guys, we got some work to do. We got our work set up for us. Thanks so much for watching, Ray. If you, do you want that Buckingham Nix, just give us a call. We'll put it with. Mm -hmm. He did the. the, the yeah, push. Well, we can get that for you too, Ray. Yeah. So, give us a call. 815-226-1259. TotalHotOnline.com is the phone number or the website. Uh, give us a call. 